Good afternoon and um, welcome to my shop. This is Bruce again. Um, we're in the continuation of the saga of the um, of the broken jaws, and uh, what we have here now is uh, five five jaws that I've repaired enough that we can the carbide inserts can slide in okay. Um, and as we can see, this one here has a gap along there. Um, and this one as well and this one as well and the fourth one as well so we're going to need to replace all but this single one now at the time being the six in the in the set um in time being these five will go back into service the only thing i now have to do is to clean up the locking washer um and nut area here the bolt area here i should say to make sure that they're all okay. Some of these I might have to grind a little bit off to make them fit. Um, these two are okay. This one still has a stud to be removed. Um, yeah, this one here is probably a bit long, needs to come back, and this one also. Okay, so five have basically got them ready to go, and I'm now working on the replacement for that sixth one, so we'll wander around over here uh, I'm doing all this handheld and um, hopefully it won't be an issue. Um, this is the uh, the sixth one and as you can see this one is extremely um, extremely bad um, and I've opted to replace this one. So I've machined up and the back of it, if you recall from the previous thing, it's got where the piston sits inside and bolts on and so forth. So over here on the mill we have the blank that I've already machined all the underside of it and um, and I've uh, drilled out, drilled through the top plus the two dummy ones and now I'm proceeding to cut the uh, keyway um, and that keyway needs to be uh, tapered keyway as you can see so what we've got here is um, we've got a 60 degree dovetail cutter on the mill um, and I don't have the angle that I need which is 75 degrees so what I've done is I've, I've machined through uh, the, I've slotted it and then ex extend, expanded that slot in both directions with a slot drill um, with this side here I um, I use the 60 mil uh, to 60 degree and I, and I cut the root part to the width and then I came back and we worked out how much we need to work and we've incrementally cut through at, to produce that angle that that angle and you see we can see the angle here hopefully you can see that angle um, so that we'll be able to introduce uh, this um, this jaw into both sides so I've done the one side and I'm about to do the other and um, well, we've worked out here, I've got on the table, I've marked it up, that's bad with the, with the light there. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, so we've worked out our steps are going to be, um, for every half a millimetre we go down, we go across 0.134 millimetres. So I've marked out here all my steps as I go um, through. So there's basically 20 steps to get the 10 mil depth um it's terrible that light like that if we can get it better here uh so we've got to go down to 2.64 millimeters on the on the y for 10 millimeters depth uh in the z um so that's my um that's my lead out and, ori and, and originally i bogged it out three millimeters uh on the on the y um so we've got the setup here and the way I set this up, drilling it for the other side, uh, I had it on this um, uh, on this on this chuck, and when I've come to machine it, because of the heavy load, I've added in a couple of straps to to give it more um, uh, more rigidity. So uh, and I just uh, knocked up a Heath Robinson affair here uh, in order to be able to produce some air. when I was doing the heavy cutting but now 
I'll now make a proper one for, for this with a needle valve that I can control much better and with a very fine nozzle. I much prefer the air, air reduction rather than uh, fluid uh, coolant. I think if you can get the chips away and get a little bit of air on the, on the um, cutter, it's far better than, uh, than the fluid. And um, it's the next step towards doing um, a dual fluid and air. <coughs> with some do. So there we have it. We've got um, we've got this made and we're now going to produce um, we're going to finish this off and, um, and we'll be able to deliver this tomorrow morning. Thank you very much.